For more than 18 months, the Russians have been defending Osovets, a fortress in the middle of endless marshes. There was no way around it. Since the very beginning of the war, the fortress was a thorn in the German side. Bombardments followed by assaults, assaults by bombardments. But the Russians hold their ground. In August 1915, the Germans decided to make the final attempt to capture it. Fire! German attack failed again. For its decisive onslaught, the Germans deployed the 11th Landwehr Division. Squad, line up. Get the gas mask. Hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you, Herr Hauser. We appreciate your help. Take a rest. Have a bite to eat. Hey! Cook, feed Herr Hauser, and we unload the cargo. Start unloading, hurry up. Was ist das für Kristallfässer? Ich weiß nicht. Es scheint das vom Schweißgerät. Hier ist der Pea Soup, Herr Hauser. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Just put a mask on. You'll look better in it. Get off. Leave me alone. With this mask on, you remind me of my Uncle Vili. It's hard to tell where his head is or where his arse is, too. He just shaved his eyebrows off. All step back. Red Cross envoy Hauser didn't know that in his supplies, along with medicines and gas masks, were canisters of poisonous gas. For three months, the Germans used chlorine in battle. But here, they never did. Herr Major, I saw that your soldiers are going to use a chemical weapon. It's very dangerous. Oh, Russian machine guns, they're dangerous. But gas is a double-edged sword. It can hurt your men, too. As a Red Cross envoy, stop it. I know you'd like fewer casualties. 
But we are at war, and someone will die anyway. It could be the Russians or ours. I prefer Russians. But using it is not humane. You Swiss are too humanitarian. When you pass through the hell, you'd better not stop. If you have any humanity, you'd better help us gather our wounded in the field. Today we have plenty. The German major was right. The casualties were high on both sides. After every clash, dozens are left on the battlefield. That's why, sometimes, a ceasefire was called. At nightfall, funeral teams start to collect the injured and bury the dead. What's there? Nothing. Leave them. Come here. It's pretty cold at night. Sir, what? They've brought Osipov. He's alive. Well, the bandages are still wet. Osipov, where are you? Arkham! Alive! My lord! Stay put. You saved my life, Ozipov. I don't know how to thank you. You, you saved mine too, sir. So we're even. Take it. Oh, nice, my lord. Nice. Tell me how you managed to survive. The Germans saved me. How's that? I was buried under the bodies of Germans. I could barely breathe. He dug me out. Later, I crawled back. It was a miracle. You're alive. <laughs> when I was crawling back, I nearly shit my pants. I was scared to death. By whom? 
There was... Oh, he was so scary. The eyes. The, the face. He was in a mask. Looked like a demon. Mask? Like this one. <laughs> exactly. Is it that? Sir. Okay, I should go. Yes, I should go. Sir! Your cap! Sir! Lieutenant Katlinski graduated from military college with honors. So he was well aware of the specifics of warfare. And gas masks in the enemy's trenches can mean only one thing. A chemical attack. Bloody hell. It blows up dust. Did the wind change, pal? Yeah, it blows from the west, sir. What have we got? Ration, sir. They sent them for all personnel. But now they want all the dead men's rations back. Well, call all the men here, please. Yes, sir. What about the rations? Leave it for a while. We have more important things. What can be more important than food? Leave it all here. That's in order. Yes, sir. <coughs> well, man. It seems we have to die tomorrow. As usual. They all poison us with gas. What gas, sir? <laughs> if it'll be as poisonous as Yatsko, it'll be fine. We can withstand it. He's been trying to poison every night. My stomach is sick. <laughs> the problem is, boys, I don't know what gas they'll use. But I think it'll be scary. And we have no protection against it. Are they really will try to break again? Yeah, our fortress. We are the thorn in their side. And how are they going to poison us? Like rats? We should withdraw to the fortress. Old man, where are you going? I need to put clean clothes on. Just in case. So he's going to die. But if I don't want to die, brothers? Don't bother asking whether you do or not. Well, if they order, I will. But I really don't want to die, sir. Is there really no protection against this poison? Wet rags on the face can help. Here it is. Make two layers. It must be denser.
the masks on. There are no living. Charge! Soviet's fortress was never taken by an assault. Russian troops withdraw several weeks later when the situation changed and at no point left the fortress defenses. Lieutenant Katlinski was gravely wounded during that battle. The counterattack of the 13th Company of the 226th Zemland Regiment, now known as the attack of the dead. Only 10 years later, chemical weapons were forbidden by the Geneva Convention. And three years after that, Fries Gaber, the creator of modern chemical weapons, got a Nobel Prize. Your Honor. When I look through your binoculars, maybe I'll die tomorrow. Take them. Thanks. Wow. Miracle. Okay. Do you think it's scary to die? 
Так это как like your binoculars. Look this way, and death is close and scary. Turn them, and death is far, far away. Tiny and not that frightening. 